Let's move on to the second assumption I often hear when talking about voice assistants. Does artificial voice sound bad? Does anyone really want to listen to a computer speaking? For us, language is easy. In reality, it's a very difficult concept. It's not an easy formula to match adjective to nouns and to piece parts of a sentence together. This is already a difficult task for written language. When I write blog posts, I use tools like Microsoft Editor, Grammarly, or use search engine optimization to help me improve sentences that are complex. For spoken language, you don't have time to revisit every sentence you have spoken. Unless you are a very professional speaker, you will always have errors in your grammar. And you might use a lot of filling words like ah. Uh. But as humans, we still understand it well. Margaret Urban said, the fish does not think about the water. It's natural for us to hear humans speak around us. But when a computer speaks and makes even a tiny error, our brain immediately highlights that. But computers got very far in natural language analysis. They extract sentiments, entities, and much more. You can try it out in the live demo offered by the Google, Google Cloud. Even more, with the latest artificial voices, we are already at an equal level of parity between synthetic voice and professional speakers, at least for the world's most spoken languages like English. This has already been scientifically proven. In this study, already from 2018, it compares synthesized voices to the ground truth of human speaking. As you can see, the rating was about the same for the majority of spoken items. There's still a bit of overhang on the left side, meaning that the synthesized voices are sometimes worse than humans. That was mostly due to occasional mispronunciations. But in general, and taking in the advances of the last few years, it's almost impossible to hear the difference between a human speaking and a computer speaking. What's really fascinating is what's happening right now. Instead of generic sounding computer voices, it's getting easier than ever to customize it. With custom neural voices, you have a voice that fits your brand. You just need to write your own voice samples. For example, with Microsoft's custom voice service, you just need to read 20 text samples to create a light model that already resembles a voice. It then takes one computer hour to train the neural network. There's still one issue we always have to keep in mind. It's how well the computer understands us. There's currently still a large bias in speech understanding. In this study from Stanford, you see that understanding white people has a significantly lower error rate than black. Similar issues are often appearing when elderly, children or impaired people want to talk to a smart speaker. The language model performs well for the majority, but might have more issues with smaller target groups. Still, a voice interface is generally more accessible than many other technical use interfaces like keyboards, mouse or touchscreens. Even very young children can, for example, talk to an Alexa speaker when they're still far away from using an app on the phone. As you will see, current voice assistants are still following predefined dialogue trees. Essentially, you as a creator have to think about everything the user can say in a certain situation and pre-write a meaningful response for each scenario. Latest research will expand the natural language capabilities. Some examples from Google show that an artificial intelligence has been trained with knowledge and can then handle limited natural conversations without designers and developers having to pre-write dialogue trees. Once these technologies are further advanced, conversations with smart speakers can become a lot more natural.